It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've just warmed the kettle up for the jalapeno dip. I've got some Chiquito 12 halloumi sticks to review today with a jalapeno dip. Uh, they're mild. It's the last of the Chiquito stuff that I picked up that was launched in January of 2022. I'm going to put these in the air fryer. So here's the here's that jalapeno chutney. Goes in some hot water. My Snoopy, my child's Snoopy glass. There we go. So I'll leave that there for seven minutes, warming through. And then halloumi sticks, dropping them on the floor. Um, they said they could, you can oven cook these, oven cook these for 15 minutes. I reckon the air fryer will do these in 10. Easily. 10 minutes in the air fryer. Let's jiggle them about so they're all... There you go. So I'm going to be honest at this stage, um, when I picked up the Chiquito stuff from Iceland, it was like an online shopping job and I went through just ticking all the boxes for the Chiquito range, I picked up all of it. Um, I've had halloumi before, I've had a halloumi burger, I found it slightly cardboardy, it was from Burger King, halloumi burger with some bits and pieces in the burger. I wasn't really a fan, but of course, let's try this from Chiquito, let's try this from Iceland. The jalapeno dip will probably be the savior here. That'll be the thing that makes this really interesting. I'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes when all this is gonna be ready to eat. Right, these halloumi fries are done, let's get into them. There's the sound. I hope they're good. I hope they're very good. As we said earlier, I think the jalapeno is going to be the kind of the, the savior of the day. Can't be to put a spice. So that was been in the water. That's been in the water the whole time, actually. Uh, I hope I haven't cooked the, what they call a chutney. Right. Right, let's get the rest of that, that up quickly with two hands. Okay, so here we are. Here are these halloumi fries. Let's break one open first and foremost. See what it looks like. Yeah, I think it's a it's a Greek or Cypriot cheese, isn't it? That they realised that they could do stuff with, like try and make fries out of it or a burger or veganize something i think it, it, it probably probably actually no 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 it'll be vegetarian it won't be vegan wow the jalapeno dip is really good it's really quite spicy in terms of the halloumi stick on its own. Not too bad actually. It's got a nice crispy crunchy batter on it.
the coating of the batter is really nice. It feels like it feels like the coating on some of those posh chips where they where they coat them in a, a, a batter coated chip. Mm. I'm actually enjoying these more than I thought I would. I was thinking, like the Burger King burger, this might be a little bit boring. But actually, they're quite nice on their own. If you don't like spice, then you haven't got to use the halloumi dip, uh, the, the jalapeno dip. But if me, like me, you like spice, mmm, that just adds another dimension. They're really quite good. Either as, I mean, for me, this is. 12 minutes past nine, it's breakfast for me. Mm. The jalapeno jam chutney is gives off a level of sweetness. Then it goes over to this, this lovely kind of jalapeno spice. If you were feeling like you had to, or not had to, or you, you had guests come in, you could pick up quite a few of this kind of Chiquito range, because this is the last of the Chiquito range that I've got in my freezer. You could put a nice spread on for people. If you've got enough cooking equipment, if you've got enough, like we got a double oven, we got two air fryers. You could probably cook the majority of their stuff from Iceland in one sitting. And I think people, people would enjoy that. Your guests would enjoy that. But, if you don't have any guests like I don't today, it's quite a cheeky little breakfast or a cheeky little lunch. Just to bang these in the oven or the air fryer. And enjoy them on their own. What's, what's making this really interesting? Because halloumi on its own is, it's salty, it's chewy, it's got a good texture to it. But I find halloumi on its own a little bit boring. Whereas the crispy coated batter on these makes all the difference. Mm. Makes it really tasty, really interesting, really lovely. I left these last but not least. I thought they were going to be boring. Never thought I'd get round to them. I've done them and they've surprised me. These have really surprised me. They're really quite tasty. Mm. So I'm going to rate them. I bought them in January, so it's now June. 
can't remember the price, but they're probably about £2, £2.50. If you're lucky, they might be a bit cheaper. So, halloumi cheese in a tempura batter. Ah, it's the tempura batter. That's what's doing it. I knew there was something really interesting about these, these dipper things these halloumi sticks it's the tempura batter that makes all the difference i'm just reading that now yeah that's what's done it for me that's what made that's what's made them interesting i like them I, they're, they're nice enough to give them an eight out of ten eight out of ten from real ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers